Well, good morning everyone to day three here in our campgrounds uh, that we now have to ourselves. I, I just noticed we had neighbors over there. They're gone. They're gone. There's no one over there. They're gone. <laughs> we have the joint to ourselves, Olivia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Let's have some fun. For our yummy breakfast today, we have blueberry pancakes. And over on the fire, we have some homemade sausage links. Those are uh, experimental sausage links because, well, we just took some Italian, what was it, Italian sausage, Olivia? Italian pork sausage and yeah. formed into little links, but I think they're going to be amazing. They smell amazing. Pancake looks amazing and whew, it's going to be so good. Topped with some Wisconsin maple syrup and peanut butter. In true Wisconsin nature, since we are in Wisconsin, we have to have Wisconsin maple syrup, of course. On today's agenda, as you might be able to guess by my outfit and Olivia's outfit, we're hitting the beach. We uh, decided it's time for a nice, chill, relaxing day at the beach. Well, we have arrived at the beach, and I feel like the common theme for today is we uh, we have the whole joint to ourselves. So, beach is right there, and we're gonna. We're gonna check out the swimming and hopefully get our tan on as we are the only people we've ever seen in a tank top today. So we'll get we'll get a nice good sun. So While we are back at the campsite for dinner, the beach was very nice and relaxing and sunny, but you know, there's there's a few flies that we do not appreciate, but we're here back with dinner. Up on the dock, we have some pulled pork that we're gonna make sandwiches with, with the cheese. And over the fire, we have some Bush's baked beans, cooked to perfection where the can is all burnt. You know, that's how you know they're done. But we're gonna indulge, <laughs> we're gonna indulge in some nice pulled pork sandwiches and Play some Uno Flip, pulled pork sandwiches, and just have a great night. Oh, it's working. This is exactly the way it is. It is now dusk, and if you can see me, you're about to see that we're having another amazing pudgy pie. We're taking our apple pie filling, putting it in our sandwich, and making some pudgies in our nice coals. And they're going to taste phenomenal. All right, well, we're doing this. All right, well, pudgy pies are awesome as usual. And uh, we're heading to bed, getting ready for another big day tomorrow of adventuring. Thanks for watching our adventures today and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is day four here. Um, we are staying in Flambeau River State, State Forest um, and we're camping in Connors Lake Campground. Um, we kind of got a, 
a nice, nice brisk morning today. It's pretty sunny, but <clears throat> we're gonna go on a little nature walk. There is a trail back through the woods that we're excited to go on. We're going to finish our little breakfast biscuits, go on a nice, hopefully scenic walk, and come back and make a real breakfast. We get to choose left. All right, where are we going? Left. Okay, left it is. There's a lot of cool trees in this woods, but uh, you found another mushroom. Yeah, Inter it. Interrupted me, but I found <laughs> the coolest tree, I think. Look at these. You can't tell me this tree is not cool. All right, I'll well, check out the mushroom now, too. Okay, that's a weird mushroom. <laughs> it looks like someone's hat. But uh, I'm going back to the tree. The birch tree that you can see literally straight through. <laughs> Where's Olivia? Hi, Olivia. <laughs> this thing is sweet. That was a good relaxing nature walk, but now it's time to whip up a fire, get some hash browns cooking, and enjoy ourselves some breakfast. Well, breakfast is almost done cooking, just have to top it off with some amazing shredded cheese. All right, let's get it. Mix it all in. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Well, we may have accidentally made food for like four people, but <laughs> that's minor details. Leftovers will be much appreciated too, but. All right, the bowls are full and our bellies are soon to be as well. Enjoy this breakfast from the fire. <laughs> All right, well, here we are at our next adventure. We're at the, I'll show you where we are. We're right here at the Flambeau Hills parking lot and our, our goal is to hike here, hike this all the way here, and then if we're feeling like it, we're gonna take this loop and then loop all the way back down to the parking lot. So, if we're feeling up to it, that's what we're gonna do. I think based on this, this whole thing, the first loop is 3.9 miles, and then the second loop, I don't know, it's like that one plus that one so it might be like whatever like six miles whatever that is so that's our little slash big adventure t for today and hopefully we see something cool well and the good news about this trail is that it looks like it's very wide and well groomed so this that looks like it's going to be the trail the whole way because it's also very very commonly used in the winter for cross country skiing. So I don't think it'll be too hard of a hike slash too much like bushwhack and stuff. So it should be nice, easy, fun. Well, we reached the, uh, the first fork in the road. And I think based on our previous, you are. we're here, we want to go left. So 
Left it is. Alright, so we're walking the trail and we see what look like some tracks and we're thinking they're elk because we want to see an elk but we don't think they're bear which is good like you don't know that doesn't look human and neither does that um, and we stepped in some there's another one over here like that might be one that seems definitely like like something so i don't know we're gonna try to stay quiet and hopefully see an animal that's not a bear, because I don't want to fight a bear. Or a wolf. <laughs> I don't want to fight a wolf either. <laughs> well, I guess we have reached a, uh, a landmark. This is Rim Creek, and uh, well, I guess it's a creek, but it's not much of one. This is, this is the creek, but it's a good clearing in the thick grass because, well, it seems like no one's mowed recently. I'll show you just how tall, how tall the stuff we're walking through is. So this is, that's the trail we just came from. Um, our feet are wet, but it's still pretty nice out. Uh, Olivia has a picture. If you can, I don't know if you can see, but we're right there. <laughs> wow. So we're like a fourth of the way done yeah. and we're gonna, we're gonna keep on trekking. <sighs> All right, we're at another another fork in the road. We just uh, we just came from there. We can either go that way or that way. So if we look at the map here, we're here. If we take so that way is this pinery grade, which would make us do a whole nother loop, and the other way brings us back. And we think we're just gonna go back. <laughs> not that it's not enjoyable, but. There's not a whole lot of variety. Yeah, there's just not, not much to see. I mean, it's tall grass in the woods. Yeah. And we thought we'd be able to see the river a little bit more, but we can't see the river. So pretty much we're just gonna hike the rest of the way back. And it's still, I mean, like two miles, like we're still kind of far out, but pretty much the whole hike is just this. Which is beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful, but we don't, we don't think we need another three miles of it. <laughs> Well, we have found uh, some more tracks, which we're gonna try to identify. We're thinking, dog. like that looks like a dog. That may be a dog. Yeah, that might be dog that slid in the mud. Cause like this, I don't know. We're thinking big dog, right? Well, a little dog couldn't do this hike. See, so yeah, that seems, that seems like a bigger dog. We're gonna hope for big dog. Yeah. Whew, well, we have uh, escaped. <laughs> we escaped the trail, we're back in the direct hot sunlight. Um, well, we're still the only people here, so obviously it's a popular attraction, but our legs are tired. It was almost five miles and uh, not much to see. I mean, it was all woodsy and kind of cool for the first mile, but then it was all the same. So we're calling it done. We're going to go take a nap and uh, see what else is interesting, but less work we can find to do today. All right, for today's dinner, we are having pizza pudgy pies. Now, what that entails, I'm going to show you. We're going to take our squeezed pizza sauce, put it in the bread. Just like, oh, perfect. Reach in here, grab some pepperoni, and uh, put that down on top of your sauce. After you've got a sufficient amount of pepperoni, cheese, cheese that up. 
and we're gonna take this piece of bread, slap it on top of it, close her up, and just like that, she's ready for the fire. Mm. Yet again, another pudgy pie that is so good, you have to try it. All right, well, thank you for watching our adventure today. This is the end of day four on our trip. Tomorrow, sadly, we have to leave. So we're gonna wake up, make breakfast, maybe chill for a little bit and leave. Probably gonna leave sometime in the afternoon. We have to leave the campsite by three, but we're gonna probably leave before then. But thanks for uh, watching our adventure thus far and good night, see you in the morning. Well, good morning everyone on our final morning here at camp. We are uh, just preparing breakfast and cleaning everything up. As you can probably tell, we're making a lot over the fire. Right now I have some cheesy hash browns. And for breakfast today, we're having another pudgy pie egg sandwich breakfast. Um, but with some cheesy hash browns because we had some leftover. So <laughs> Olivia has the eggs cooking over here. We got the hash browns over the fire staying warm. And over here, we've got the sausages. So we're gonna munch on these, finish cleaning up the tent behind me, pack everything in Olivia's car, and we're gonna hit the road and head home. So uh, this is it. This is the end of our little vacation before college starts. So unfortunately, we have to learn stuff now. But nonetheless, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like to watch me camp or fish or do whatever I'm doing, subscribe for more content because I'm not I'm not gonna quit doing it I love it it's fun and uh, I think Olivia likes doing it too so thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one